this Roblox YouTuber got famous off stealing someone else's work. That Roblox guest stole from a Roblox YouTuber known as Starla and Newbie. And so basically what he did is he overtraced her animations and he stole over 48 of her animations and got 200,000 subscribers after it. Well, she only has 10,000. This is a shame. So basically, there's a YouTuber named Starla and Newbie. And as you can see, she says in her description, today I will talk about a YouTuber named Da Roblox Guest to let y'all know the truth. Da Roblox Guest was a YouTuber with over 200,000 subscribers. Yet he went downhill. I guess you can call this an exposed video? I don't know. Let's get into the further contents in the video and take a deep dive analysis as to what's going on. So basically, she starts off the video by saying Da Roblox Guest has stolen 48 of my animations, and this would be fine with credit. But he even claimed that these were his animations, which is absolutely wrong in the artist world. He can't claim something that isn't yours. He also did something that is known as tracing, and so basically what tracing is, tracing is basically tracing over the drawing and claiming it as yours like it's an original work, and that is absolutely wrong because it takes no talent to trace. Basically, the proof that she provides is the two TikToks and him on his community tab where it says noob hello. And as you can see, there is the drawing of the noob and they look the exact same. Number one, you can tell this drawing is traced because of the line consistency. The line consistency is completely off. Look how inconsistent that looks. It's not right. It clearly copies the shading and all that stuff. And you can especially see line inconsistency with drawings that are traced. Kablamo, that is proof right there. So for her proof one, she says that you can search up Starla Star on TikTok in order to see the full situation. And so basically after searching that up, it should take you here, show her her TikTok profile, and even the videos that he stole are there. And that looks familiar. And you can see that that's her TikTok profile with the animation. And he got the animations from there and he initially downloaded the animations using a TikTok downloader. Furthermore, in the video, she explains that proof free is the animation and that she says she sometimes takes screenshots of the animations that she works on and that today she was going to show us the screenshots. She gives around four proofs in this video that she is indeed the owner of the animations through these screenshots that she takes right as the day as she uploads the video. And as the free profile pictures that she gave away, this can prove the consistency in her art style as her art style is the exact same. Whereas the Roblox guest art style often changes because it is in fact traced. A fan even provides in the comments, as you can see, that says, and one more piece of proof, Starla posted how I can make, I hit you with a crowbar. So it is proof that she did in fact make these. If we take a look here, Starla is actually pretty popular on TikTok with her having over 490,000 600 followers and 5.8 million likes. Honestly, good on you, Starla. You are an extremely talented animator that deserves all the fan base you've got. Go for it, girl. You're doing great. The funny thing is now, when you go to search up Dub Roblox Guest YouTube, it does not come up because it is in fact terminated. As you can see right in that top corner, there is me searching up youtube.com slash Roblox Guest's channel. And then when you search it up, it says this page isn't available. Sorry about that. Try searching for something else. He recently got exposed one month ago by many other Roblox YouTubers who are like, hey, this isn't okay and ended up exposing him. Therefore, he probably got a lot of reports and got his channel terminated. Stolen work does not deserve to have a platform. If we take a look at some of the comments here, we can see one that says, he stopped copying Starla, but now the Roblox guest is stealing other content. But I'm really glad that he got banned. So she says that you are believed him, you are believing a stealer, unfortunately, but now his channel is now terminated for stealing copyright to the videos and other videos that he stole. And she thanks people who believed her at the start and that she doesn't hate Roblox guest, she just dislikes what he did. And she said that he needed to give credits he did not delete them even when she asked him to, and he kept ignoring that. And so she says that he really hopes that she gives this proof that he was actually stealing, that people leave her, and now she's back to her uploading schedule. And that marks the end of the video for her. Let me know your thoughts on this overall situation. Please subscribe or follow Starla. It would really mean a lot to have this support because she did have a lot stolen from her, and it's only right that she be retributed and that we do the right thing at this point. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'd appreciate it if you'd click the end screen in the description. It does really help out the video, and I'll see you next time.